Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel and happy new year. Happy 2024. Uh, I know this is, this is February, but yeah. Uh, let me put the music because I actually thought why not going back to putting some music while I'm doing the videos. So here we go. Uh, you remember <laughs> the music I used to put uh, back in the times like two years ago when I started this. So it's the same music. So um, guys, 80% of you watch the videos but don't subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel like why not like we're gonna we're gonna do so many more videos uh, so ju just just do it right <laughs> so uh today the palace we're gonna study so first, today is the first ever like video of a series of videos which is gonna be about about uh, like six or seven videos and we are gonna explore for each video one royal palace that we found in ancient Egypt okay so I choose to do first the palace of Amenemhat the uh, third Amenemhat the third was a was a pharaoh or was a king of the uh, middle kingdom okay so and pretty much of a, a rich one like a rich <laughs> rich king because um, he used to you know he built also like the pyramid of Hawara and not just that one he he, he was you know he built like lots of stuff and so now um what can we tell about this building i will gonna, i'm gonna show you i'm gonna put my camera a little smaller here yes actually here okay ah, okay so like this and then i'm gonna put my screen a little bit bigger here so you should be able to see my pdf presentation so here we go. I'm gonna put my full screen read mode at least. Okay. I hope the music is not too loud. So what I, I like, I collected a series of like images from like uh, in internet because I was not actually able to find the original uh, documents from the excavations. Uh, this building it's um, a royal palace that was temporary, um, like. It was built to accommodate the king on a temporary basis, okay? Like whenever he's gonna come to Tel Basta, which is like, it's like a village like north, um, northeast of the Delta Nile, okay? Of the Delta of the Nile, so lower Egypt. And uh, so it's not, it's still not fully, fully, fully excavated uh, until now. And um, but it was excavated first by Shafiq um, Farid in 1960. So uh, this site is actually like super Egyptian in terms of uh, archaeology. Like uh, you know, was was Egyptian archaeologists that actually studied this place. So and then Ahmed uh, Asawi and then Ibrahim Bakr uh, in the 1980s. So. What you want to know about this place is that so first of all where i mean what are you looking at so this is actually the black and white of the relief uh, of the survey uh, of the 3d survey of the actual site so you see it's a little bit of a mess right i'm gonna show you exactly um, i'm gonna explain you all, all of this and you will understand so what do we have in telbas is this huge site okay so um, and we're gonna just look at this part here this is just this part uh, this is the palace the rest is like cemeteries and temples and other stuff which doesn't even be which doesn't even belong just to the middle kingdom uh, it belongs to other times so uh, this is uh, what's left of you know of of the palace of the royal palace and the first thing you see is that um, it's a series of courtyards and it's all built by mud brick and this is quite uh, extraordinary because they were not even cooked. Like, I mean, uh, they look like this look um, burnt. Like this look like like black, and this look like white. So I think this looks white because they probably plastered. Um, and then these ones were like the raw mud bricks. So I don't think they were cooked. Uh, these mud bricks. So it's quite of a poor construction for a royal palace. And uh, so yeah, I actually have to put the music in loop, otherwise it's not gonna work out. Okay, so um, so uh, what can we tell about this? So the complex is is so big um, that um, it cannot be just uh, outpost for administrative uh, 
stuff. What they, what did they use this building for? Um, yeah, I mean, again, like they probably use this place uh, whenever the king was gonna come into Bubastis, and then you know, just on a temporary basis, as I said um, uh, earlier already. And the actual areas I'm gonna show you very soon of the house itself are like this one now. This is partially true. Actually, let me go through, through a better for a better drawing, which we have. So it's this one here. So as you can see, this is actually uh, what's left because we have on the north, like he, on top here, this part of the site has been destroyed by the by the by the machines uh, back in like the last century. Okay, so the actual house, the actual residential part of a man the third it's actually not there anymore okay which sucks because that's what we want to know but the rest of the house we can already we can already we, we can we can tell okay and i'm gonna explain you very like right now so as you can see this plan is divided by three main areas okay you have the first area here okay which is the done by the entrance so the entrance was here on the south and you had this series of like uh, 12 columns and then you enter from to from, from with a gateway now on your right you will have the guards spaces like the spaces for the guardians okay then you you access a courtyard and from this courtyard you have two ways basically okay you, one way bring you to the north and I, we're going to talk about that later and then the other way it leads you to the west now what the what did, what did they used to use this uh, west part for they used to do this they used to use this part for like you know magazine so like storage and this was the kitchen so they used to put like they did they were not cooking uh, inside of I mean not in this case at least they were cooking outside so this is where the workmen like the, because you have to consider that these people, like kings, they don't really, you know, they just they don't come home. They they put their <laughs> their dressing, uh, they don't shower, like they, they don't live the life that we do. Uh, these people just you know, their houses are uh, um, run by people that work for the house, right? So, and like you know, like I mean, uh, and we we still have this nowadays, right? Like some you know very wealthy people, they don't really live. In those homes, the actual people that live in those homes are the workmen, the people that work to make sure that the house is prepared when the king is coming, right? So they will prepare the food, they will take care of the garden, they will, you know, you will, they will take care of the building, and you know, that's that's. <laughs> so they will live in the house, and still nowadays in Dubai, for example, you have this, like, and not just in Dubai, even in the West World, we we still have this. So it's not like something. But it's nice. It's, it's nice. It's nice now. But it's uh, it's curious to see that this was already something that was going on in, in ancient Egypt. So yeah. So they used to have the kitchen in this area. Now, from the courtyard, um, let me actually. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Just a second. So from the courtyard, you will access another courtyard, that number E, and this is not even the main courtyard because the main courtyard will be F. Okay. So we're gonna talk about that later. So the courtyard E. From this quarter, you will access basically two um, two areas. First area you will access is the north part, and we we'll talk about it later. And now the other part which you're gonna access is this west part. Okay, so this west part is divided in three main. These are three houses. Okay, so actually, sorry, these are actually four houses. Okay, so the main house here is called the mansion, and it's probably was the mansion and the house of the mayor of um, Tel Basta or Bubastis okay so you will access the house from here and then you will come to this like presentation hall this is what it's called like presentation hall where you will receive the the, the the guests and the people coming to your house you will receive them here and then like J will be like the area where if I'm not wrong that was like the magazine again like storages and probably like you see this narrow space this was probably a staircase going up but we are not sure about that and then here this would actually be 
the uh, place where they where the mayor will sleep you know and like take a shower or whatever <laughs> you know shower doesn't ex didn't exist but you know what I mean right so uh, I'm not sure about the bathroom and I'm sure about the um, bedroom because I read from like a document here that the like these two rooms were the bedrooms and then this part here was probably the bathroom but again the bathroom really you want to have a bathroom inside of the house I don't you don't really want a bathroom inside of the house right you want the bathroom to be outside right I, I don't know but I, I, I hoped like, I really wanted to have these answers but it doesn't really I don't know I, I read this document and um, yeah, I don't remember actually uh, yeah the document was from Peter uh, give me a second eh? Uh, give me a second. We're gonna recover. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you exactly uh, who did this. The document that I was uh, that I'm referring to. Uh, sorry, guys. I can't find it. it was like Peter something. Uh, well, anyway. So anyway. So this is was probably the house of the mayor. Okay. And then you somehow somehow you will access this area here where you see three houses. Like one two and three and these two were like united houses and then this one is a little bit separate now how do you access this i don't know because there isn't any like door or gateway to access these spaces okay and also there is something that it's worth to note is that these houses there are some spaces that, are, that looks like they're not really uh, accessible so for example let's take this house how do you pass from this room to this other? Like there, there are no doors. So I really sometimes don't understand uh, the plans of, of these of these houses. But anyway, so the common feature is that they also they, they, they used to have labyrinthian uh, structure, and you will say that from this entrance you will enter the house. No, you enter one part of the house, which is this, and then you enter the, here and you enter one room. And then you know and how do you enter this area like around here you don't know because there is no door so I it's quite it's still quite enigmatic to me like although it's very like uh, explainable um, because you know this is a residential area and you can tell from the scale of the rooms okay and from the proportion of the rooms um, and from the materials so the last part we're going to talk about is this part here in the in the north. So as I said, this was just the introduction for the actual residential part of Amenemhat III. Why do we know it's Amenemhat III? Because we found a big piece of stone lintel above like a gateway, um, which which you know you had the name of Amenemhat III uh, in the Sad Festival. So you know they had to rejuvenate every like. I don't know if it's every 30 years or something they had to rejuvenate their like health like in a way like they, they had to show that they are worth it for uh, of the kingship so here we go so this um, is actually the um, courtyard with six pillars and two of which are like have this like star like shape like right I don't know like right and so this is the presentation hall this is where you would see the king actually uh, and you will see it here uh, most probably I, I suppose and then you would proceed on and do the tour of the house with him now what are the other spaces around here um, I so these are actually this is actually the cult area okay so it's not it's, it's, it's not really um, it was not really used uh, to be like lived <laughs> you know so as far as we know these two spaces here like this space here this space here and this space here was like offices for some reason like and um, yeah I, 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 I don't know like office for what like for uh, admin like yeah maybe like I don't know but also like what do you mean office like they were working here on a laptop no obviously not so I don't know. I found this uh, document. It's the best document I, uh, I have found, and so it, it's not really, really super like clear to me the whole dynamic of, of living in the house. But we can tell, right? We can tell that the, the very like, 
the, the, the lesson that it take from this, uh, and I'm gonna show you the pictures actually very soon, is that this building, like from the plan, it's very rigid, but it's also super organic. And there are so many hierarchies in the spaces, and you see the thickness of the walls uh, that keeps changing, right? So that gives like uh, priority also, that gives like, you can tell that the more thickness, the higher was the, pa the, part, the palace in that part. So it's super organic, right? And it's also built of mud bricks, so you can, it's kind of funny. Um, it makes you think that the house for these people, it's not a space to live. It's a space, it's not even just a space, right? A house, it's a place, well, it's not, it's not a place to show off, but basically it's, it's an extension of your body, right? That's, a, that's what a house was uh, for, for, for the kings. Uh, this is a lesson from ancient Egypt. We we, we don't we don't have that anymore. I mean, just the very very well well very wealthy people nowadays uh, can do that, and also back then, or they also just the very wealthy can do that. But uh, we live in houses that are not real extensions of ourselves. We just live where we can afford, right? I guess. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Why am I, I might want to show you, so this is the Google map image, right? So you can recognize here was the entrance, here's the courtyard, here's the other courtyard, and here is the main um, uh, presentation hall, okay? Uh, yeah, so uh, the house of the mayor was here, like the mansion, and uh, I'm gonna show you here. So. Uh, bah, 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 bah. So what you're gonna see here, these are like, this is the mansion, okay, so as you can see, like we are like looking at this part of the building, and uh, I wanna show you this, uh, wait, okay, so this, you can see these are the magazines of the, of the mansion, right, so we are looking actually towards we are in the mansion and we are looking towards the actual presentation hall that would have been like somewhere here, around here. So we are actually like in the bathroom, I guess, like, okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, here we go. So this is actually what we have of this house. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is the very first one. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you want me to be more like specific and you want me to be, I don't know, like let me know in the comment section. Uh, we're gonna do, uh, I don't know, in the next month, like one video every month. So it's not gonna be like every week like I used to do because I really need to take priority back to my work and my income like stream uh, until this channel blows up, right? So yeah. Um, so this is actually I, I chose to do this because this is the it's not the very first palace uh, that we have from ancient Egypt, but is uh, the the first well preserved <laughs> in a way, and that you can actually like um, recognize like some spaces and etc. Because there are some other palaces like that I found, but it's just you don't find any information on internet and. The books are quite expensive to buy, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, anyway. So, after this whole Royal Palaces series, we will actually go and deep dive more into the common people residential uh, architecture, okay? But first, I really wanted to have a clue of how the kings were, how the architects of the kings were designing the houses of the kings, okay? And kings and queens. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, thank you for, for watching the video and see you soon. Bye bye.